What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about how to turn off iOS update and how to turn up apps update on your iPhone, okay? Now every time whenever they receive a new update either for iOS or either for application, your iPhone actually takes them automatically, okay? Now here is how you can stop them. Now first of all, we will show you how you can stop the auto update for iOS and second of all, we will show you how you can do it for your application as well. Now to do this process, the first work you have to do, just go ahead and open up your setting, especially for this iOS update. Now scroll down to your general, go ahead and tap on there and then go ahead and tap your software update. Now once you're here, all you can do is just go ahead and tap your automatic update and just go ahead and tap on there and make sure to toggle off this option. Okay, now by default, you actually will see that the both will be toggled on, but here just go ahead and simply toggle them off and your iPhone will stop taking auto update, especially if it's get the new update for this device. Now let's go ahead and talk about how you can do this process, especially for applications. So as you guys know that you get a lot of tons of applications on your iPhone. And to turn up the auto update for application, the first work you have to do guys, just go ahead and open up your settings and find app store. So we'll just scrolling to the bottom and go ahead and tap your app store. And here you're gonna see this option called app update, okay? Now simply go ahead Ahead and toggle it off do it for both if you see it uh, for app application and apps update just go ahead and simply toggle these features on your iPhone after you have toggled them off and at the same time go ahead and turn off automatic download especially if you're using the cellular data okay after doing this process your iPhone will no longer be able to install or download any application or any iOS automatically okay so this is how you simply can turn off this update for your iOS update and this is how you can do this for your application as well hope this video is useful guys if you think so leave a like and subscribe to this channel to get more useful video content for yourself thank you very much for watching this video and we will talk to you all soon